Hey everybody, it's Bart from the New York County History Center with today's Did You Know? Did you know George Washington died at the age of 67 on December 14th, 1799 at his Mount Vernon estate? George was born on February 22nd, 1732 to parents Augustine Washington Sr. and Mary Ball Washington. Washington's Tomb. He is buried beside his wife Martha in their tomb at Mount Vernon. As Commander-in-Chief, George Washington led our nation to victory over the British. He returned to politics in 1787 to preside over the Constitutional Convention in Philadelphia. George Washington was unanimously elected the first President of the United States in February 1789. Visits to York. George Washington visited York on three occasions. While a young surveyor in Virginia, he passed through York via the Monocacy Road on his way to the land office in Philadelphia. As president, George Washington visited York on July 2nd and 3rd, 1791. Outside of town, he was met by a delegation of citizens and two military companies, which escorted him to town. Upon his arrival, all the bells in town rang in his honor. According to Washington's diary, after dinner, in company with Colonel Hartley and other gentlemen, I walked through the principal streets of the town and drank tea at Colonel Hartley's. That evening, every pane of glass in the windows of the courthouse was illuminated with a candle, 720 candles total. Zion Reformed Church. Washington recorded in his diary that there was no Episcopal services that Sunday in York, so he attended the Reformed Church. The sermon was conducted in German, not one word of which the president understood. After the religious services, he proceeded to Lancaster. Whiskey Rebellion Washington passed through York a third time when returning from the Whiskey Rebellion. In a letter to Alexander Hamilton sent from Wright's Ferry, Washington stated, I rode yesterday afternoon through the rain from York to this place and got caught twice in the height of the rain. I was delayed by that means and hung on the rocks in the middle of the Susquehanna. When Washington died on December 14, 1799, York mourned his passing with a solemn parade. Local folk artist Lewis Miller captured the scene. The procession was led by dignitaries, followed by pallbearers carrying a casket. Next came a company of mourners, followed by a band with horns, stringed instruments, drums, and fifes. Finally came the citizens of York. Thanks for watching. To learn more about York County's fascinating history, visit us at yorkhistorycenter.org.